All right, so welcome back. Today we're going to do uh, some bags, and uh, Andreas is a world traveler. He loves to uh, pack light, uh, and uh, I think he he doesn't ship his bags. Uh, he just brings them on the plane for carry-on. So he's going to talk a little bit about his carry-on bags and uh, how he uses them. All right, we're going to go fast here. Uh, basically, um, I'm a believer in one bag, no check-in luggage travel. That means one bag, no laptop bag, nothing, just everything, everything in one bag. I've stayed in Asia and in Europe like this for three plus weeks, no problem, works out great. Um, previously, John has reviewed the cloth strap from Red Ox. Now, Red Ox is one of my personal favorite companies. I introduced John to this company a few years ago. I told him about the bag that I bought and how much I liked it. Uh, this, this, this cloth strap here, he's reviewed previously. You can look at his review on our channel. And this, this strap came with my Red Ox Air Boss bag. And this is it here. This is in the safari color combination. Um, now the bag may look a little bit, uh, I guess, baggy right now. That's because there's nothing in this one. But when, when you put stuff in there, it looks quite good, actually. One of the things you'll notice right away on this bag, this bag is built by, I guess, parach military parachute riggers out in Montana. So everything on this bag is absolutely overbuilt. It is bomb-proof. The material is very heavy as far as th I mean, thickness. It's, it's lightweight, definitely. The whole bag weighs about three pounds, I think. Um, it comes with these nice, they call these monkey fists uh, on the zipper pulls. These zippers are these very, very high, heavy duty YKK zippers here. These will absolutely not tear. These also resist opening on their own. The only way to open these is actually to pull on the, on the thing. I don't know how it works, but it does. So your bag will not rip on the zipper. Uh, and that's pretty much guaranteed. This bag is guaranteed for life. Should anything ever go wrong with it, you send it back to Red Ox, they will fix it or replace it, with no questions asked. Now this bag, what makes this one so special for one bag travelers like myself, is it really has three main compartments, and you can see that on the side over here. Three main compartments, a outside, center, and another outside. Let's start with the, uh, well, there's one more compartment here. This is a, a little tiny compartment for throwing some things in. You can throw in magazines or whatnot. Uh, you see in the inside of the bags here have red high contrast material, so anything that you have in the bag is very easy to spot, very easy to grab. I throw small knickknacks, electronic cords and stuff on the outside here. The main, the most important compartments for me are these outside, what I call them outside compartments. You'll notice the zipper zips all the way down to the bottom of the bag, so you can fully open the bag up. Um, in here, you have tie-down straps, so you can fold your clothes or use the bundle packing method. You can look that up on the web. I don't have time for that in this video. Anyway, the uh, you can strap down your clothes here, so you can put uh, a whole bunch of stuff here. This bag is expandable. I have fit more in here than in any roll, roll board I've ever had. You have an identical pocket to this one on the other side, on the back side of the bag. That's where you put all your clothes. Uh, this is great for suits. This bag is this bag is great for suits and stuff. Now this bag has passed every single airline I've ever flown with for carry-on, including small little regional jungle jets. Uh, they've n I've never been stopped, I've never had to gate check, even when this thing was packed to the gills. Everyone else who had less stuff with them uh, had, to, had to gate check. Um, the center pocket here also opens all the way to the bottom. This one is simply, and I got some stuff in here, <laughs> this one here is simply a uh, uh, pocket. I put a lot of my electronics, I put a pair of shoes in here, I put my netbook over here, all my electronic is on my camera, it all fits in here. This, this bag really will accommodate quite a bit. On the back side, you've got, like I said, another identical pocket to the front one. And then you have, finally, you have a small small zipper pocket here. It goes to the whole depth of the bag, putting passports, paperwork, it's a really great little pocket here. Easy access stuff. And finally on the outside you have just a snapped compartment where you can put this miscellaneous knickknacks. I keep some cable ties there. I've talked about these before. I use cable ties for security when traveling. You tie them up and you take along a pair of uh, uh, what do you call it? Nail, nail clippers with you and you to untie them when you get to your destination. But again, I never check my bags. So it's not really a problem. Uh, one of the things you're going to notice when you travel light like this, you're going to have, uh, you know, you want to keep your weight down. I say about 10% of your body weight is the ideal formula. To do that, you're going to have to learn how to wash clothes when you're on the road. So in my bag, I always take along a portable sink stopper a, uh, and a little rubberized, surgical rubber clothesline. It does not require clothespins. Anyway, I'll just review, them, review these separately, but these are great items to have within your bag. I keep them in my Red Ops bag at all times. 
Um, anyway, that's, this has that's been your basic quick review of the Redox bag. This is absolutely the best bag I've ever owned, the most sturdy bag I've ever owned. I love it. It's uh, great for travel. This thing has been all over the world and still looks brand new. Uh, this has been Andreas, and thank you for watching.